donkey of the day. Donkey of the day, ex I'm a Democrat, so being donkey of the day is a little bit of a mixed play. So like a donkey. Yeehaw, okay. Donkey of the day. <laughs> the breakfast club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but donkey of the day is a new one. Donkey of the day for Thursday, May 25th, goes to Brittany Randolph Johnson and Milan Etheridge. Two teachers who were charged Friday with one count each of disrupting public school. Now, let's unpack this. Okay, one of them, Brittany, is a teacher at the school, and Milan is a classroom paraprofessional. Yee, what's that? What is a classroom paraprofessional? I don't know what a paraprofessional does. I never heard that Let title. me look this up, because yeah, it's never not heard a teacher's one. aid. Paraprofessional. Well, when you find it, we a get person to, to oh. whom a particular aspect of a pro- professional task is delegated, but who is not licensed to practice as a fully qualified professional. Sounds like an assistant to me. Not yeah, like so she doesn't, she doesn't have her okay. proper credentials to be an actual teacher. Got you. Well, both of these two individuals were caught on camera having a fist fight inside a science class at Stone Mountain Middle School in Tucker, Georgia. Now, the clip is 24 seconds long, and it shows two queens punching and grabbing each other over and over while kids yell, stop. I can't make this kind of stuff up. Let's go to WSB-TV, CBS 2 for the report, please. Parents are calling for two educators to be fired after a full-blown brawl in a classroom full of kids. Justin, school officials are asking parents to be patient while they investigate this fight because this school is a public entity, and that means by law these staff members can keep their jobs pending the outcome of the investigation, but they can't be around students. The video shows students trying to break up the fight, but it didn't work. Some other staff members had to break it up. School officials are investigating why this happened, and in the meantime, both staff members will keep their jobs with the district. However, they've been pulled from the classroom. Officials told me that both staff members were arrested and charged with disorderly conduct in a public place, and when this investigation is over, they will be disciplined appropriately. Now, this is disturbing on so many levels. Number one, ladies, there's absolutely nothing that pressing that you two had to get down right there Mm -mm. in the classroom, okay? I refuse to believe that the issue y'all was scrapping over had to be handled right then and there. What happened to being professional? Now, I'm or paraprofessional, all, at least. Or paraprofessional. Now, I'm all about keeping the same energy regardless of where we at, okay? If you don't like me and you have made it known you don't like me and we end up in the same place where it's required for us to be professional, I can remain professional. Doesn't mean I'm going to speak to you. I'll be taking pictures, acting like it's all good, but we don't have to resort to a physical altercation, especially in front of kids. Mm-mm. Like, come on. You have to have a balance of ratchetness and righteousness, okay? Know your environment. Y'all could have aggressively whispered at each other. Wait until after school, bitch. I'm going to get get your ass in the street, bitch. Okay? (laughs) I'm trying to think what would push me to the edge to make me want to fight someone at my place of of employment. I won't let somebody get me to that point here at the radio station, so I damn sure won't let anyone get me to that point at a school. Can we hear hear some of the altercation? What did it sound like? (laughs) Same energy. That's one. That's who, whoever started you know, that for fight. One, you have to see you come to the window, so you better have that same, same energy. energy. Whoever whoever started that fight wanted that same energy at all times, regardless of where they was at. Well, I got another message too for the kids. I understand y'all caught up in the moment and y'all excited. Teachers are fighting, but one of y'all kids has to be focused and disciplined and do what's important. Pull out your phone, stand still, put the camera long ways. Keep it steady and get a good ass video. What you what? What, what you dog gonna say? Call for help? Oh no, these kids don't call for help nowadays. They don't think like that anymore. So if you're gonna pull your phone out, get a good video. World star. Yeah, the best video is the one that's gonna go viral. So if you wanna be on ball alert, shade room, academics, the world star, stay focused and steady your hand. Okay. Now back to Brittany Johnson and Milan Etheridge. Why? I understand things happen, sisters, but you both just threw away your potential careers as educators in this country. 
Okay, what school is gonna hire either one of y'all after they see you catching each other's fade in a classroom full of kids? Not to mention, what kind of examples have you both set for the babies? Teachers have a lot of influence over kids, a lot. Those are the adults most kids spend the most time with during the week outside of their parents. I understand you both are only human and mistakes happen and you gotta have that same energy, but you also have to control your emotions and control your energy and monitor your behavior because the kids are watching and now, Thanks to social media, they will be able to watch this piss poor behavior over and over and over. How old were the kids? Middle school. Henry Adams once said, a teacher affects eternity. He can never tell, he or she can never tell where their influence stops. Brittany and Milan, you two will affect eternity for those students, but in in the most negative way possible. Please give Brittany Randolph Johnson and Milan Etheridge the biggest hee haw, please. I'm just saying. There was teachers. no breaking up that fight. And when I saw the little kids running to the front, oh, come on, just man. taking a look and then running back out of the way, that alone. Come on, man. Certain places you shouldn't fight. School. Imagine if your church. daughter was in that school, in that classroom. How mad would you be? That's what, yeah, exactly. The Breakfast Club.